Hello lovely people and welcome to another fantastic and fresh one here on eWeekly on AIG Omega Pro where we take you around the world of entertainment. I hope you are ready. Please call your friends because we have a lot of story to dish out this day. I see the host to go here on the show. So moving straight to the first story, talking about the Nigerian Grammy Award winner Bono Boy continues to break historical charts. This time around, you know, the time are the first ever African to hit 200 million stream on Boom Play. Woo! <laughs> Kudos to you, man. That's probably amazing for you. The first African to hit 200 million stream on Boom Play. Man, that's a very good, big milestone for Bono Boy. We'll say congratulations to this great milestone. I hope more, more to come your way. Moving on to the next story, talking about our Nigerian singer David Do O B O O Shibadas. You know, during last year, November, during his birthday period, he uploaded his account telling his friends, if you love me, please support me, show me some love. And he started sending one million, two million, a lot of you know money started kind of coming in and he made a 200 million naira cash. Mm. Then he said, you know what, let me add my own 50 million, making it 250 million. And he said, you know what? I will give out this money to the various orphanage homes here in Nigeria. And guess what, guys? He now set up a committee and start to gather, you know, different orphanage homes here in the country. And they come to the conclusion of 292 orphanage homes here in Nigeria. And guess what, guys? He has fulfilled his promise. On Tuesday, he uploaded the various orphanage homes the money was, you know, was given out to. There were 292 in numbers. And he said, you know what? I've fulfilled my promise. I've done my own part. But people are saying, please, the committee members should also ensure that the various uh, orphanage homes actually use this money to discuss. Which is very, very, very important. And we also urge other celebs to do as well. You know, not only changing your clothes, changing your, 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 your car here and there. Try to touch life people around you. It's very, very, very important. Yeah, moving on to my next story. I love the story somehow. Somehow, so it's not really funny, but some kind of bad news. No, last year we told you the story of Alec Baldwin on the, in the movie set of Rust. You know, he mistakenly shot the cinematographer on talking about Hutchins here on the set of Rust. And, you know, he was, he was called to explain what happened. And he gave his own version of the story and they produced an order on set. But recently, the lawyer of the family now said, no, we can't let this kid just go that way. They, they now, you know, called him to court. They should come and answer some questions there on the court, him and the producer. According to the, the lawyer, he said that there are a lot of cutting corners to be able to cut costs. They do they, you know, neglect certain things that they ought to you know, put in place. Like, you are not a professional. Then why will you not take a life gun and say you have time to rehearse and you now mistakenly cut the life of this young lady shot? Mm. The Nancy guy you have questions to answer you and the producer on this set. So let's see what will happen, what will be you know, the final result of this whole thing. And we hope that Alec Baldwin will come out victorious at the end of the day. Now, talking about the amazing Oscar Award 2020, it's coming up, baby. In case you don't know yet, I want to give you all the story right there. You know, initially they said that we are not going to hold the Oscar this year due to the new Omicron variant of the coronavirus. But good news, guys, they say we are holding it back. Yes, yes, yes. And guess what this year is holding at Los Angeles, USA, hosting it for the first time. Yes, yeah, it's going to be an amazing show, trust me. And something different is that they have three hosts on this year own. You want to try? Great comedians, people that knows what they do in the Hollywood, Hollywood industry, they are going to be the host of this season. So you know what, guys? Just keep your finger crossed and watch out for the 94th edition of the Oscar Award. And hopefully we are praying that the African brothers play some award in this season. So in case you are tuning in, you will see here on E-Weekly on AIG or Media Pro, still to come is Fashion Tips and Video of the Week. We'll be right back. Stay with us. It's nice to have you back from that quick break here on e Weekly on AI Geo and Media Pro. Now to fashion tips. You know, we all have this mentality of using the social media as our life yardstick. Why? It doesn't make sense. So I'm saying something, I put on this clothes once, I'm not going to put it again. Because I don't like that. What's wrong with you? You're looking up to like a music artists, Nollywood star, the way they, you know, flaunt things. You know, say, okay, if I wear this cloth once, I'm not going to wear it anymore. Who told you that? All these people see on social media, guys, they are actually uh, uh, are trying to promote the materials. They are brand ambassadors to a lot of brands out there. So what they are doing for them to market those wear. So why will you say you wear cloth once and you wear it again? Do you work in Central Bank? Let me just ask, in case you work in Central Bank, please call me. 
cost the cake guinea let me join you so please you can you can wear your wear more than one two three times depending on how stylish you're putting it on maybe in the first way putting on sneakers you don't want to wear shoes no palm try to do something different you can wear it more than five times after all this your wear is it is it a business like me if i wear this more than five times it's your business it's my wear you didn't pay me for it so hello so let's stop using social media as a yardstick to how we wear our clothes how many times to put it on come it doesn't make sense yes so do that then the video of the week you know something i love so much about this video is the best video ever i've seen on the social media you know this week you know uh, the, the alumni association of university of just you know they came together and during their master you know degree uh, you know final year the defense eve one of them you know was mentally unstable talking about hillary so then said, okay let us reach out to this young woman where he is let us find him first and in the process of the statue they're able to you know find you know hillary and one one good thing he able to recognize them quite it's very interesting and you know what they now took him to the hospital they now said okay dr halfa doctor said there's no problem as far as you had heard to the instructions and the treatment hillary will be fine let's take a look at this clip we'll right back well, on that good note, we call it a wrap here on E Weekly on AIG or Media Pro. So, all you have to do is to follow us on all our social media handles our Facebook, Instagram, also Twitter at AIG at Media Pro. And please visit our website at www.aigmediapro.tv. And please subscribe on our YouTube channel at AIG on Media Pro. So, you know, we'll see you next time for another exciting and fresh one here on E Weekly. I remain your humble host. My name is Michael. Have a fabulous weekend and I sign up for now.